Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trade People's Tips again. Today we have a baby more pot that we're going to be assembling. Okay, you can see there clearly no knife, so I'm using what I have a screwdriver bit to just look like I've got a finger near it. <laughs> yeah, always complaining about something, isn't it? Anyway, what I'm going to do, get my blade. Press it in there. Along there. Along there. Right on the sides. And up. Up. That should just flip down. Done the other side already. It should just open up. There we are. Package is open. Take that bit of polystyrene off. And we have one bit more packing. Got bits and pieces in here, we're gonna find out what they are. One side, there we go. So we put this one side to one side. Okay, so we're gonna carry on unpacking and show you what you get for your money. Okay, see you again in a second. There's our instruction booklet, so we shouldn't have no problem putting this together. Fingers crossed. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. We've done all our unpacking. Forget that that's not part of it. And we check what we have. See, I've laid them out all nice and neat. Normally I wouldn't, but because uh, it's you, you know how I stay when it comes to you. Allen key. Everything's an app. That's it. This is all you have, an Allen key. You may need a screwdriver when you put in these just to locate them so that everything goes in together. And there you compare it to what you're supposed to have. Alright? After you do that, you flip over onto this page which will show you what you should have. Okay? And what we have got, we have our side, this, these, there's two pieces of them. They're the base for your draw. Now, the sides, we have two sides, and on here, I can't see on here, but they're numbered, they're numbered. These, we have one, two, see, they're number 10. And on here, these are the sides. So you got front, back, sides, and base. So that's your draw. So we could put those all together, one side. These are your side rails, on these cutouts, these rails, the frame base, call it what you like, sits inside of it. Then you have your ends, top, top and bottom, left and right, whichever, top and bottom. Yeah, headboard and base. Those have also got numbers. Everything's got numbers in them. The slot that you see there, kind of blatantly obvious. It's going to slide into one of these. See? Same numbers. They look basically the same, so there probably will be, again, numbers on them. These two are probably going to be the base, under the base, because whenever you see things that are not painted, they're always out of sight. Okay, those goes on the side. Again, numbered on the top. Alright, these are your four corners. So it's all pretty straightforward so far. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ourselves started and organized by putting our draw together and out of the way. And I'll do just this little bit here. The, um, see those holes? Those are the holes that these one will fit through. So what you will have is that will sit in that hole there 
like that sort of thing and the bolt that I'm holding so that this screw actually should face you yeah and then the bolt will go in that way so that was that is exactly what you should end up with and that my dear has got a screw to here somewhere and because it's the base yeah, it's logical in it it goes at the bottom right so let's start putting this lot together and see how we get on back in a minute okay we're back again now i've laid this at roughly what we need to do so if i show you one of these okay what happens with this now but before i go to that let me just show you this here where are you screw going if you're ever screwing anything together and you're not sure about it see i hold this screw in there and i put it up against there just to make sure it's not going to come straight through the wood onto that side yeah because then you know you've got the wrong screw so those are going to be screwed on just like that yeah back to the center part on the bottom of here um that will locate and then the screw goes through into there let me see if i could just raise it over and show you exactly what i'm talking about there you go that's the one so this kiddo goes in there and that one comes through that way right so now we've got to put that together we've got to screw these on both sides of that then we stand it up and our sides just slot in so i'm going to do that before i get onto any other thing but i've already laid these out showing you how roughly where the pegs go on the insides and on there and then you screw it in through there and another one up there all right again here i've given you a quick layout so you can see where your pegs are located and the top slots on just above there so your top will slot on slide onto there let me just show you there you are just like that all right your sides will come to your base that is how it sits so we're gonna go through all of this in a minute but for the moment let's just finish this off to give ourselves some space all right so i'm gonna stand that up screw those in slot the boards in get that out of the way and i'll come back to you see you in a second okay okay there's our draw a um, couple of things i'm gonna uh, mention to you catch all your screws so you catch that turn it down about three quarters of the way make sure you still got movement again on there the same the one at the back which is equivalent to this one now if you see on there it's got a chip right now if you want to send it back because of something like that if it was on the front i would be bothered but because it's on the back i'm not too bothered right these are the screws we use to do it so make sure all your screws are in yeah before you go tightening anything up because sometimes on here you may not have it sitting in the slot properly and it will look like you have a gap so make sure it's all in there properly and my next little tip for you is if you're using your allen key like that and you find that you're coming up against there there you go and don't go too mad on it when tightening it just sit it in there that'll do yeah you hear the wood start to creak as it pulls in tight once it gets to that stage then my advice is to stop so anyway we're going to put in these last two now you can see i've tightened up after everything i was just holding what a muppet eh anyway we crack on right there's our draw all together good to go all right now those drawers are going to be running 
on these runners where it slides in and out. We've put our thingamajig on it. So all we need that to do, again, tighten them down. Same screws as before. Um, I'm sure I've told you about self tap of screws before, but take for example this one. This is what you call a self tap of screw. You see the way it grooves a fig? Um, go in that one. And these, where the thread are finer, this is a thread, will normally screw. <laughs> Uh, he's not right, he did not play with a full pick. Something like that. See? The difference? Again, you need to check for the lengths when you're using them. Right, so we're going to try and get this lot together and we'll show you as we go along. So we're going to start with this first, just screwing down this bar, the drawer on the slider, whatever they call them. Right, and then we get back to you. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, there's my first side I've just docked together. And there's a second one I'm gonna do. Now, let me just show you these. Uh, these ones, the long ones, are the ones we're using. And again, check. These go through the side here. So you wanna check that it doesn't go come out on the other side of the wood just to make sure you have the right screw. If you look just there, I think you can see it comes out but it doesn't go right through to the other side. I think you got what I mean. That one goes in there and in the top goes the shorter ones which are these ones. So those will go through there into that hole there. The peg goes in there. As you can see, we have a peg there, goes in there or peg there goes in there. If you're ever, ever in any of that where these pegs go, all you've got to do is you look at that, you can see straight through to the floor. This one is a hole leads to nowhere. So let's push that in with your hand. They're a bit tight, never be tempted to hit them too hard with a hammer, otherwise it will just go straight through the other side. This side of it is where the screw will catching to. Okay, so um, that's about it. Those three um, pegs, you can see the pegs sticking up. Pegs locate, screws tighten down. And that's it. Do that side. Same again on the other side. We've got both sides done. See you in a second. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm telling you, listen. Anyway, there it is. That's the side. That's the drawer. And that's the other side, all good to go. Right, so the next piece we're gonna fit on is these. Right, where the mattress, the frame, the wooden bit, if I call it for now. Wrist, so you got one position there, two position there, and the third one. Let me do this thing properly. One, two, and three. Depends on the child's size and age of your child. So we're gonna go for the middle one. Yeah, so mom don't have to bend over too far to get that little butt. <sighs> Shush. Right, now the way we do that now, we need these. Again, through there, and through there. Right, so we're going to do that now, and we'll be back again. Step by step, we're taking this thing. Okay, this is where we're at. Right, so we're going to shush and get on with putting the other side and I told you we're going to be doing this thing step by step. Here we go. Okay, again there it is. We've got our rack rail, 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 rail call it what you like. <laughs> yeah, that is the screw you use. Alright, let me just show you that. Yeah, there's six of them. There's six holes. Makes sense. Those go in there. Just like that. All right, and again, remember I tell you, if you're having trouble with your Allen key too close to the edge, or you can't get enough leverage to tighten it, right, that's tight-ish, put it in sideways, 
and get that final bit on it. Yeah, that's it. Now, the sides here, um, hold this camera properly, just there, there, and on the other side. I tightened up when I first put it together, just to hold it till I can get this frame on. And I slacken them up a bit to give me room to get that side and that side on. So now, all I've got to do is basically that on one side and again on the other. So I'll come back again with that and show you how I've done it. Oh, this one man band thing, man, I'm telling you. Things I do for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't leave you, remember that. Right, I'm back again. This is a complete nightmare. Anyway, I've done a whole lot and I didn't press the record, so I've got to do it again. These screwing, I'm just going to screw it out and show you. Just there, two of them, one either side. Right? Screw it in there, the top. And you tighten it down at the bottom. These other grey bits, they're spring loaded. That should just pull out. There it is. Spring loaded goes in there, which should then in turn locate in here. This keyway here has got a slot over here and over there, and then drop down and locate the pins at the bottom. Right, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and have a good moan. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back again. You know me. I just try to please everybody and every time. I can't do it all the time. <laughs> right. You see when you put this on and I said to you about where it hooks on there in the keyhole. Right, down here where you had spring loaded. It's a bit fiddly to get on. So what you need to do is slacken that off that side and the other side and just kind of pull it away yeah until it locks it it locates in the runner uh-huh and then push it back together and tighten it up okay there you are then you put your drawer in all right people okay there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final chapter. All together, all done. That's it, everything tight, everything tightened up. Check, double check. Shake a bat, make sure it's strong and sturdy. And everything is all good. There you are. So, from tradespeople's tips, till the next time, take care of yourselves, look after each other. And all of you out there robbing each other, stop it. You hear me? Stop it. Because when you get robbed, you will not go and like it. Yeah? <laughs> and I shouldn't say it, but you could get taken big. You hear me? Stop it. Let us people.